Another effect which is observed is the impact of global warming on the overturning circulation. The rising motions in the tropics and the subsidence in the subtropics, which causes the subtropics to be dry, that, that uh, circulation cell is expected to expand as the planet gets warmer. And we observe empirically that there has been an expansion on the average by about four degrees of latitude. And that's beginning to affect the southern United States and the Mediterranean region and uh, Australia and parts of Africa. And so, for example, Lake Mead and Lake Powell have, um, are only about half full. And that's probably, at least in part, due to this general climate trend. Uh, and it, a related effect is the increase in, uh, in fires. Uh, that um, is occurring not only in the western U.S., but in Canada and in Siberia. An important effect is the melting of glaciers, which is occurring worldwide. Um, this is a, a picture taken in the Himalayas, and then a more recent picture where that glacier is now gone. Um, the Glaciers in the Himalayas, in the Rocky Mountains, and the Andes Mountains provide fresh water in the summer and fall for hundreds of millions of people. In the spring, you get snow melt, which gives you a huge flush of fresh water. But as the summer and fall go on, there's no more snow, but there are still glaciers melting and providing uh, fresh water. But once those glaciers are gone, then there's uh, these rivers will be running uh, much drier, and uh, that's an important uh, climate impact. In fact, these glaciers have now lost the black part of these bars, show the loss, mass loss of the glaciers as a function of altitude of the glaciers. So already a significant fraction has been lost, and it, there's a danger that it could all be gone within uh, 50 years if we stay on.